Right, good morning folks. I'm going to do um, uh, some pockets. Yeah, basic pocket. Nothing that hasn't been done before. Okay, just but I'm going to do it out of this um, really vintage paper. It's quite fragile. So um, I'm going to back it with some coffee stain paper. Okay, that bit, but you'll see all this. So all I done was worked out that one to, around about four inches. I done it by eye when I folded it. I just folded it in like that and then folding it back. Okay, slightly offset, which I don't mind. Okay, and then I thought I want it that tall. <laughs> That's all I done. Okay, and then to decorate. So I shall go ahead and just fold all the others ready, which I should have done before, and cut the paper ready because I'm going to decorate three because I think I'll have one in each signature. So, all right. <clears throat> okay, so I folded them. Oh, well, I've done all three now. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is stick these down here. And also trimmed off the bottom as well, the size I wanted. So now, do I change my thread to black? <laughs> Keep looking at it, thinking, do I want that? Because it does look nice with black thread. So I'm not sure yet. I'll think about it while I'm doing this. So let's stick those down, and I need to ink up in here re-ink this last night so I've got to be careful it's not too and that's all right. too heavy So I'll show you how I do this one. Then I'll go off camera to sort of get to the decorating part and then decorate the other two with you. So I know sometimes it's once you've seen one made, it's um, that's all you need really. And it's the decorating bit really and that that's what you need to see sometimes. Um, yeah, I back them with the coffee stain just to firm up that because it was it is very brittle. <clears throat> okay now you can it looks quite nice i have done these before where i've put lace on that bit okay but i'm not going to do it with this one um i've got a nice big doily i've only got one of these so i'm going to use it today because i thought it looked nice and that is going to go on there so i'm going to cut that down so i've got another half for something else i'm not going to waste it and put it at the back so let's do that and i'll overlap this one as well it wasn't it feels nice too there yep <laughs> Okay, I just chose a, a little topper. Okay, something I think that's could even be a freebie. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I know I have loads of vintage, vintage Edward ladies on etsy i've got all different ones of these journal and cards and i do have some freebies too so but i really can't remember which kit is which now because that was a few years ago i done those now if you want to stitch around these that has to all be done before <laughs> what's just at your pocket now Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stick that down. It's not worth saving that little bit there. Mm. 
and just one of those um, that we stamped previous video don't need to Now, I thought I might actually stick that there. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit on here and then just very lightly just to hold that down. Right, do I want that over there? I think I do, so I'm I'm going to have it on the top. So I'm just going to leave that float for now. Okay, because I'm going to stitch around this first. But have it. I'm going to see what I need at the sides, yeah. Um, do we want that down the side? What else we got? We've got a lot here. So I might use this bit. Let's... Hanging around. We want some lace here, don't we? Put that. that might be quite nice, actually. Right, okay. Scrooching that up just a bit, and so when I stitch over it, it'll be slightly, um, you know, tucked. Okay. Like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now? I wait for the wait for this to dry. Okay, and I'm going to stitch all around there okay and then we can um, glue that in place yeah. okay just need to let the glue dry though right so i'll be back in a minute okay so i stitched all around there all right so i can glue this down just got to make sure you've got plenty of glue over the stitching, yeah, just rub it in a little bit. Right, I am gonna just glue this down a little bit here. So, and a few of these I think so I do like to cover you know when you see this I do like to cover those joins that's just me yeah I think I'll use three on that one And then on here, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> ruch up that a little bit, like so. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, might need to just trim that. Look at that. Slight overhang there. You better be careful. I don't. That doesn't matter because I'm going to stitch over mine. <laughs> just thinking now that I've got to be careful. Let me, I'll cut right through, but I'm going to stitch that down. Okay, now. And I'll, I will lift that up to stitch underneath. Yep. So, and then I'll lift that up as well. Yep. So I'll go ahead and stitch around there. And I think that one's done. And then it's great for a little pocket for a tag. <clears throat> okay, so that's all done. I did change the black. I think um, we'll get away with it. It's not too heavy at all. I've done um, quite a small stitch. So, and then tag's not finished or anything like that. But so they fit in there nicely. Okay, and then grommet and a dangle on the top, and that is done. Okay, right. So let's do the other ones. Um, let's put that. I'm not sure where this will go in the journal yet. I'm just doing three of them. Yeah, and then they will sit in somewhere. All right, somewhere. Usually a page like that. Would look quite nice. Yeah, I'll keep that there. I think that looks good. <laughs> I do swap and change though. Um, right, the other ones are sort of stuck down now and prepared while I was waiting for something to dry so I have got the other part of this left so I'm going to do that again so. Okay, right, um, yep, so I'm going to do very similar to this one. <clears throat> Okay, so that one's finished, all right, except for putting something in there, all right, similar to the other one, all right, which was, I got it out so that I could show you, there we go, just different sort of placement here, but elements are the same, I've kept that there because I quite like that bit there, so I've kept that like that, and we shall do another one, so no doily now, so a bit of lace I think, I've got this lace here that I thought I might sort of um, put over like that. So what I do for that is a glue stick. I've got my little pots of all bits that I'm collecting for a little bit of a snippet later on. <laughs> so I'll just lightly go over there. Okay. And I don't trim until it's um, stitched, all right? Don't tend to anyway. Just going to put a bit more down there. It's not holding. But I'm not doing it too flat, all right? Not stretching it. Sometimes I do, but today I thought I won't. <laughs> Yep. Just 
holding it along there. And then that can dry while we work out what we do with the topper. So I've got another one of those. I'm just going to ink around. Yeah, I've put um, quite a few freebies, you know, that used to be on my website on the Kofi account now. So you should be able to find something. I'm sure they're on there. Um, so we have that there. Sort of somehow. Maybe like that. Okay. I have that one. Screw it. <laughs> and I got one of these. I just um, stamped them a while ago on some sort of linen type thing. I'm not, I've got some bits coming off here, like that's like as well that I can stamp on. But that one's done. Rusty safety pin. Okay, just a tiny bit of lace on the back that can go sort of there. I'm gonna. I think that needs to come up. Could be there if we wanted to carry on with that theme, which can look quite nice. We've already got Paris on there, so I might. Let's have a look. Radiant, perhaps. Not sure yet. Might have some coming out of there in a minute. Not quite sure, but I'm going to stitch around that bit. Okay, and I'm going to stitch the lace on, I think. Are we going to have anything at the bottom? It doesn't matter. We can stick it over the top. Right. <clears throat> okay, I stitched that around. So, um, as you can see, you know, it's sort of not too um, flush. All right. Now, what I do is I actually just make a bit of a shape there. Okay. Just to come up there. That's good. And... I'm going to stick that down in a minute. Okay, stitched around there now. Right, let's stick that down. It's that time of day, everything starts sticking to me. And we want something coming out of there. Right, let's have a look, see what we got. Right, okay, I ha I do have something, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to get it under there now. Um, where did I put it? One of these. I 
I am. I'm going to cut that off. <clears throat> Not that it has to be something totally different, doesn't it? Silly me. Um, I do limit myself <laughs> to what I put out just so that I can. Because I love working with little tiny bits. I'm just wondering if there's anything here before I look for something. Well, I'm going to leave that now, I think. Just feel as though I need something sort of draped. So I'm going to stitch over this bit. Okay, and we'll see what we come up with. Yeah, I like that. That's it. That's brilliant. Okay, another texture on there. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Okay, right. So that's the three done. So ready for the journal. And like I said, I haven't got tags yet made for them. So I shall have a day making a load of tags. I think these ones I'll make. Like for this, I'll make quite flat and just line paper on the back, stitched around, and then that's done. Okay, right. So that's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that and um, speak to you very soon. Bye for now.